Hello, my positive dog peeps. Happy Saturday and welcome to day 27 of the 30-day video challenge. Just three days left and we're going to be done. I am so proud of everyone who has participated with me in this. We have had a great time doing videos and supporting one another. So I highly recommend it if you ever have the chance to participate in one. But anyway... Today, we're going to get back to our story, and if you remember yesterday, Bubba's dad came to the shelter to find him, which he did, and he took Bubba back home. And of course, that left Matt very saddened, saddened beyond measure. Matt started to think about how negative he was feeling and learned that negativity can and does have a place and purpose in our life as long as we have it in small doses. So he decided he needed to experience more positive emotions than negative ones. So he thought, what would Bubba do? And I think that's where we left the story yesterday. And he thought and he realized Bubba would turn a negative into a positive outcome. He would transform a challenge into an opportunity. So instead of focusing on what he lost, he would focus on what he gained. Matt knew if Bubba could do this, then he could too. With Bubba gone, it was up to him to take the lead and teach positivity. So he got to work mentoring the other dogs the same way Bubba had mentored him. Slowly but surely, his positivity was having a great impact on the incoming dogs that were coming into the shelter as well as the dogs that had been there the longest. Of course, there were a few who wouldn't listen, but Matt knew that that's just the way it was in life and it, and it wasn't going to affect his work there at the shelter. It even made him more passionate. His enthusiasm was contagious. He loved everyone and he put his love into action. Matt found that appreciation, recognition, and mentoring were great, were great ways to feed the positive dog. Over time, the positivity in the shelter increased tremendously. Even the few negative dogs had made some changes for the better. Matt realized that the sad event of Bubba's departure had created an opportunity for him to live a life with purpose and to transform the shelter in so many positive ways. So good for Matt. I'm thrilled for him and I hope you are too. Matt found the silver lining and made it work for him, and you can too. I'm just praying that Matt's ultimate dream will come true and he'll find his own forever family. Keeping my fingers crossed. We only have a few more chapters and hopefully we'll find out. So that's the end of it today. I want to stop here because the last two chapters I'm going to combine a little bit, but... um. Anyway, I hope, I hope you've enjoyed this. I won't be here tomorrow. I'm taking the day off for some family time. But I'll be back to wrap things up um, with this series on Monday and Tuesday. Hope y'all all have a great weekend. And I appreciate you for joining me today. And I will see you next week. Take care.